Radio. Pat Gray is here on the Blaze Radio Network. Good morning, Americans. It's Friday. Welcome. Thanks for being here. We end the long, cruel week together. 888 Also at Pat Unleashed on Twitter. We're joined by Jeffy, of course, as usual on Friday. How are things, Jeffy? You got the uh, vaccination yet? Fantastic. Uh, no. No. Mm. Still no vaccine. Uh, I'm mm. still in the vaccine. Hesitant. Trying to, you're trying to kill people? Is right. that what you're trying to do? It's a deal. No, wow. I'm, I'm not. Trying really. to kill people? No, I'm dead. not really. That's I'm not trying doing. to kill people, and I don't want to die. Hmm. So. So. Then what's your deal? <laughs> yeah, what is your deal? So then get in there and get it done. <laughs> get her done. Get her done. Why don't you go to Ohio and get you can? Get done. What is this, Russia? Getting that lottery up there. Hmm? I know. Get her done. I know they got a lottery in Ohio. I think they're starting a lottery in California now. Oh yeah. For all the vac- <laughs> v- mm. vaccinated people that are safe and good, will be great. It will. Be great. It will. As will the six trillion dollar budget uh, that's going to be proposed today. That will be great as well. We're just spending a whole bunch of money, which is great. Because what are you saying? We got to spend money not to go bankrupt. Yeah, yeah, that's what I'm telling you. Yeah, that's what I'm telling you. <laughs> uh, Biden will propose a six trillion dollar budget today that would take the United States to its highest sustained levels of federal spending since World War II. Yay! <laughs> <laughs> That's great. While running deficits above 1.3 trillion throughout the next decade. 1.3 trillion for 10 years. If you yeah. if you I know none of us are good at math necessarily, but that <laughs> seems like 13 trillion dollars. It does seem it like It seems that. like it. <laughs> <laughs> Documents obtained by the New York Times show that Biden's first budget uh, request as president calls for the federal government to spend six trillion in the 2022 fiscal year, and for total spending <laughs> to me. rise to 8.2 trillion by 2031. Perfect. Nice. This is yeah, it. Couldn't be any better, could it? <laughs> and here's the thing, though. Other than Rand Paul, does anybody care? No. Hmm. No. Thomas Massey. Not at all. Okay, maybe Massey. Maybe. They're not making enough noise, though, even those two. Well, I mean, let me ask you a question. When we were in New York, we worked right around the corner from the debt clock. <laughs> in fact, I think the debt clock was, wasn't it on our building? It was in the building well, right we, next to us. I mean, okay. it, was, it, might have, it might yeah. have actually been our building. I'm not sure. I mean, it's around the corner mm-hmm. where, we, where we saw it. Is that even plugged in? <laughs> have they just unplugged that bad boy now? I It can't be spitting out real or numbers. Is it, or is it just blinking? If it is, I don't know. Yeah, blinking 12. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Oh. I I don't know. I don't think there's enough numbers on that deck clock now. They just had to unplug it. Uh yeah. It's it, it's not even worth doing because nobody pays attention to nobody it. Nobody cares. You look up there and you go, uh, uh, huh, look at that. Ooh, why is 20, that? Twenty twenty nine trillion? We're in debt twenty nine trillion dollars? <laughs> Unfunded li- liabilities of like hundred and fifty six trillion? Yeah. Good stuff. Huh. It's not a quadrillion yet. <laughs> wake, Taxi wake me. When it's a quadrillion. Okay. okay, well, that's going to be a cat nap then at this rate. <laughs> uh, a quadrillion is something you can't even you can't even get your head around. A trillion is. And, and now we're just discounting trillions. We sure are. I mean, they're just throwing out. And you know how their estimates are never right. They, are, they always underestimate by about half. It's going to be about half of what they predict. It's going to be half of what it actually is going to be. And... It, it's just not staggering to anybody anymore. No way. I mean, they just did the thing right where Biden was asking for one point something trillion, and mm-hmm. Congress said, "How about nine hundred and some million? No, <laughs> billion. No, yeah, nine hundred and some yeah, billion. billion. No, yeah. Uh-huh. right? Yeah, and it, well, it was the infrastructure oh. thing, and he started at two point three trillion, and so he Overton windowed him, and he's like, "Well, one point seven. and then like you said, yeah. they're trying Maybe to yeah. actually do infrastructure bridges. Roads, stuff like that. Don't be silly. Whereas he would like, you know, well, that's because daycare and everything. Thank you. Is infrastructure. Thank you. So, <clears throat> when everything is infrastructure, obviously you have to spend a lot on infrastructure. Am I right? Remember in the days when like a hundred million dollars spending 
by the government sounded like a lot. Then it was a billion. Oh my gosh, you're spending a billion. Then it was a hundred billion. No, you can't spend a hundred billion. billion. Now a trillion, <laughs> and we don't even bat an eye at. Well, do you remember yesterday when we played the Rand Paul clip? He went through the three things. It was the lizards on the treadmill, right? Mm-hmm. Uh, well, it, oh, dear couple God, of studies. Stop it. So anyway, it was the selfies and uh, did they make you feel good? And then mm-hmm. I forgot the other third frivolous study. That was over two million just right there on those three stupid two projects. Million. Two million. Two Jeffy's million. going spit on two to million. defend here. We do. We spit on it. Okay. It's no big deal. Or two two million dollars. It's a couple of deal. studies. So what? <laughs> Come on. <laughs> well, thank you. <laughs> it's really it's something else. It's something because. Uh, our grandchildren, our great, 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 great grandchildren aren't going to be able to afford this. Nobody's going to be able to pay this off. No, they're going to be speaking Chinese with John Cena. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, at least John got a head start on the rest yeah, of Yeah, no us. doubt about so, that. So, good hi, for him. Hi, 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 hi. Hun, 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 I am hun, 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 sorry. <laughs> okay. Good times. There's a tough guy. Uh, Biden had some breaking news uh, yesterday. He he said uh, that we're in trouble. Oh, we yeah. were oh. in trouble. We've been in trouble oh. since he was sworn in. Check this out. Well, hang on. Do or do we just you, have the... Do you want the image of him? Yeah. Uh, yeah just like yeah. Right there. There it is. A CNN quoting Joe Biden. We're, we were in trouble when I was sworn in. Yeah. Oh, yeah. That's <laughs> Amen. <laughs> Amen to that, my friend. You are yeah. kidding. That's why we try to not get you sworn in. But he did have uh, some powerful words uh, in, in his speech as well. Did he? Good. Let me tell you this to the press again. In the 10-year <gasps> period, mm-hmm. between 14 and 24... Between 14 excuse and... Excuse me, between... Excuse me. Uh, between 10 and 20. 20, 10, 20, 20. <laughs> Every oh, single time. Uh, he, and, and as he was leading into that, his brain was already <coughs> screeching to a halt like, oh no, it's really? about to be number time. Do that again. Watch it. Like, he knows numbers are coming. Yeah. He, he, Let me tell you this to the press again. Okay. okay. In the 10 year period. Uh oh, 10 year period. Uh oh, uh oh. Between 14 and 24. Right. Oh. 14 and 24. Excuse me, between uh, 10 and 20. No, you're good. 20, 10, 20, 20. Yeah, you got it. <laughs> you're right. He read before. He saw it coming. He was, yeah. he was trying to get it His straight. His brain was couldn't. trying to pull the emergency brake before mm-hmm. he got that to the That is awesome. <laughs> not really, though. Well, no, not awesome. really. Not really, though, because it happens all the time. That saves billions of gallons of gasoline. I mean, billions, bil- billions Wait, of... No, uh, billions of... Two point, I two. think it's $2.3 billion, billion worth dollars, of... Billion dollars, not gallons. $500 billion 500. in savings and two point something billion <laughs> metric tons of CO2 going in the air. Oh, okay. Well, that's clear then. <laughs> that's clear. There's got to be a directive in the West Wing right now that no... Numbers and speeches. You write around numbers. You you figure out a way to say what you want to say without numbers. Because he can't do it. If he can read words, why not put the numbers in words? I, I mean, they must be doing that, right? They, they have to, right? Not... And maybe that's what he was reading. He was reading it ahead there. You saw him read ahead and mm-hmm. knew that the numbers were coming. And he was trying to but figure they're written it out, out for but he you. can't. Read them. They're written he out. He can't. Read it. He can't. <laughs> it's something to do. I, I think it is. I think it is something to do with the eye strokes or something. He something, can't. Yeah. He can't quite. He can't quite figure it out because he's worse on numbers than just about anything yeah. else. He can't. When he gets to a number, can't not screw it. That up. That same speech yesterday. I don't know if we have it, but he also said that every single hospital bed is mm-hmm. going to be occupied by Alzheimer patients in 15 years. I'm not joking. <laughs> so. What? <laughs> what? Yeah, he talked about oh, that as well. That one. You ask. You ask all the doctors. Nurses will tell you. <laughs> Every hospital bed is going to be filled with, oh, with Alzheimer's patients. patients. And he's seen the future. We've overcome COVID, apparently. Weird. Hmm. Really weird. Every hospital That's bed. That's what the man said. How many hospital beds are there? 600,000? A million? I'll 10 send, million? What? I'm, you I'm gotta not, find that. I'm not really familiar with the too. hospital bed number. That's not something I've <laughs> probably spent as much time on as I should. Really? But <laughs> it seems unlikely. That, uh, at least I hope. Okay. If you, I mean, are you, you all of a sudden are a medical. We expert. need to find that because that's awesome. Awesome. incredible. Jeez. Here's a picture sent to us by uh, a pathead pixie. Uh, <laughs> uh, it's a little meme of Joe Biden. Hmm? Form a coherent sentence. And this is a little card game. Or. <laughs> 
draw 25 cards. Oh, Uno, huh? <laughs> nice. Yeah, that is Uno. He's playing Uno. Oh, it's Uno. Okay. Yeah. And uh, he oh, drew 25 cards. I see. Yeah. <laughs> now, how did he count the 25? Yeah. That's There's a, a hole point. in your story there. That he did not do. Somebody counted for him. Yeah. One, <laughs> two, three. Oh, man. Do we have Joe Biden's official uh, presidential cup? As oh, well? yeah. Let's uh, let's see what that looks like. There it is. <laughs> presidential is tippy awesome. cup. Uh, yeah, you got the presidential <laughs> seal on a sippy cup. Those. That's good stuff right there. I like that. That's good. I that like is, it. I like it. <laughs> is, you know that's not far from the truth. No, I mean, between that and the dandelion, dandelion picking for his wife on the way to the helicopter, I mean. Just bad. <laughs> Here he goes. <laughs> this is one of my favorite What's videos your... of all time. Oh, hey, come, I, come this way, I Joe. love her face when over he's this... picking it for her. Man. I do, too. We're going to go for a little ride. Disgust. Come on. Here we go. Okay, let me. Okay. Wait, oh, there's look, a. There's a dandelion. No, 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 no. Pretty... Come on, Joe. Joe, no. Come on. Oh, come Please, on. Please, come on. Come on. To the hell. Okay, that's. Look at this. It's a pretty oh, dandelion. Okay. He thinks he's doing such a sweet gesture, and everybody okay. around him <laughs> is thinking. <laughs> What is Bye-bye. wrong with this guy? Okay. Just gonna leave she goes, this right still, here. still has it in her hand. I'm gonna leave still it right And here. it falls Go. out. And we're done. No one will know. <laughs> mm. That's sad. I, he can't even pick one with the yellow bloom on it. Yeah, yeah. He picks one that's gone to seed already. <laughs> he likes that one because he wants. Jill, <laughs> blow. <laughs> Make a wish. Uh, uh, if I blow on it, I'm going to wish for more pudding. Wait, I shouldn't have told you because okay. the wish doesn't come Keep true. Keep walking. Come on, Joe. Joseph. Joseph. Joseph, please. Come on. Please walk up the stairs now. Look how pretty this is. I'm going to give this dandelion to okay. my sister. Do we have that video, too, where he calls his wife his sister and his sister his wife? That's that's a fun one. I, I, Tommy. I enjoy yes, that as Tommy. well. Okay. Triple eight nine hundred thirty three ninety three. Also at Pat Unleashed on Twitter. Uh, Patrice Colors forced to resign oh. over this real estate scandal. Apparently, mm. when she bought four homes for three point two million dollars. <laughs> uh, it's just all about my family. I'm just that's my family. I <laughs> not me. Oh, it's not. It's not. I didn't do any. None of that money came mm-hmm. from Black Lives Matter. Really. <laughs> Right. Really? That's fun. What does other any, job do you have that pays? I was going to say, does anybody think that, that she could make it in the private sector? Okay. No. Then we know where the money came from. The <laughs> numbers don't lie. Thank you. Thank you. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah. 141 and two-thirds chance that uh, yeah. the, that money came from <laughs> BLM. So is she start, Is she just claimed that she was stepping down, right? She's not. Yeah, uh, she's uh, saying yeah. that. Mm-hmm. I wonder yeah. if she's going to start a new uh a new, a, new, a new group? program, yeah. I don't know. Probably we'll see. aimed at kids more specifically, I would bet. Meantime, uh, let me tell you about Raycon earbuds. If you're looking for earbuds that actually fit in your ear and feel good there and don't fall out all the time and sound great, your search is over. And they're about half the price of the Apple earbuds uh, that are just ridiculous in price. And frankly, they hurt. The, the Apple earbuds kind of hurt when they're in your ear. Uh, but... You get crisp, powerful beats at half the price of the other premium audio brands. Raycons look great. They feel even better. They come in a range of cool colors and with customizable gel tips included for a comfortable in-ear fit. You got a whole bunch of different sizes. So you can find the one that fits your ear uh, well. And Raycons are built to go wherever you go with quick and seamless Bluetooth pairing. I love that. You just take them out of the case and they hook up. They connect. Uh, It's fantastic. So check this out. Raycon, uh, Raycon is offering 15% off all their products right now for my listeners. And here's what you got to do to get it. Go to buy, B-U-Y, Raycon.com slash gray. Buy Raycon.com slash gray. There you'll get 15% off your entire Raycon order. And it's such a good deal. You want to grab a pair and a spare. That's 15% off at buyraycon.com. Pat Ray. A group of parents in Florida 
stood up to a school board. Uh, Florida school board voted the other day to remove a call to dismantle structures rooted in white advantage from its equity statement after hundreds of... Of parents complained at the language as divisive and racist. Nice. Hundreds of them were pissed off about it. This is what it's going to take. The school district of Palm Beach County School Board convened Wednesday to cons- reconsider uh, revising the statement they finalized in early May, which drew backlash from these parents. They voted four to three to make the change because the parents were just incensed and weren't going to put up with it. Good. Board member Karen Brill made the suggestion a week earlier that the phrase be removed because it became evident it was not helpful but harmful. Yeah, you know what? I don't think there has ever been a time in America where it's been this important to stand up against this clear, blatant evil masquerading as equity and justice. Uh, This will destroy us if we don't stand up to it like these Florida parents did. This... All they have done is switch racism around from minorities to whites. So it's not okay. It's just as evil as it was before. And we've got to put a stop to it. You are going to, you're just, you're going to cause so much harm to white children and black children and brown children for that matter. Which is their goal. Yeah, it is. It is. You're going to, you're going to make them little racists and that's already becoming the case. And it's you, you've sent them the signal that it's perfectly fine to be racist against whites. In fact, don't we have uh, a list? Yeah, we do. We oh, have, yeah. A list. Got to update your list, lexicon here. Uh huh. Of slurs that you can use against white people. Oh, nice. nice. Oh, that's great. This oh, is I handy need, and I need these and helpful. <laughs> uh, they're not white. They are punk. Oh, people of no color. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Like or melanin deficient. Mm. Mayo monkeys. Whoa. Hmm. Uh, snow roaches. Snow oh, roaches. <laughs> like that one. That's nice. <laughs> snow rats. Snow rats. Paper. Paper. Crackers. Oh, Colonizers. Mm-hmm. Bleach demons. Oh, nice. Bleach demons. There should be a minor league baseball team. No purpose flower. Corn starch crusaders. <laughs> <laughs> Salt shakers, nice. expired cheese, ah, expired <laughs> cheese, marshmallow minions, unwhipped cream, <laughs> garlic goblins. I don't get that one. Yogurt yodelers, lint leeches, salty scallywags. Mm-hmm. Nobody's going to use that. No. no. Styrofoam cups, <laughs> unscented candles, <laughs> pasty <laughs> parasites, culture vultures. Yeah, I'm a culture vulture. Ice chimps, <laughs> vanilla gorillas. Like that one. I see that using uh, apes and monkeys to describe white people is perfectly fine. Sure totally is. fine. Yeah, that's not a bad thing. Mm-hmm. So shut your mouth. No, I don't want to hear that you're offended by it. Mm-hmm. Cultureless Neanderthals, uh, oatmeal. Why oatmeal? <laughs> I don't. I don't I've never seen white oatmeal. Have you? Just maybe bland. I don't eh, know. Maybe made with milk. Yeah. Uh, yeast maggots. What? <laughs> Tidy whiteys. Vanilla Ah. vultures. Didn't we already do that one? No, that was culture vultures. Mm -hmm. Okay. Soup cookies. Nice. You don't get the reference to salty crackers there. Uh, And string cheese are just a few of the new insults you can throw at whitey because, you know, they're they're worthless human beings. Not even... Well, they're white. They're subhuman is what they are. You know what, Jeffy? Wow. You are no purpose flower. (laughs) Have you known that? mm. Wait. What a horrible! Did that hurt you? Horrible insult. I don't know. Did we? Do we have the Portland eighth grade teacher, where they have they were having their Zoom meeting, and I, and I don't know that we have it. I don't remember if I said it in, but she talked to the other uh, teachers in the Zoom meeting, talking about uh, that you need to evolve or dissolve. <coughs> on, uh, <laughs> what? Yeah, on critical mm. race theory, you need to either evolve, evolve or, or de- dissolve. Dissolve. Mm. That's it. Get over it. You need mm. to. If you're not if you're not ready to to, to have it, move on. Is this a white person? It's incredible. Or a person of color. Mm, yeah, no, it's a person of color. Okay, so that's not racist at all, nope. right? That's perfectly fine. No, that's, that's perfectly correct. fine. That's yeah, correct. Don't even worry. I don't even know why you brought that up. And there's a, so what's your point on that? The other teachers on the screen are all. <laughs> huh? Of course, they yeah. Uh huh. Uh-huh. 
Okay. Evolve or dissolve. Okay. I will evolve or dissolve. Okay. Does that mean death? Okay. I'm bad. I'm a bad person. In fact, I'm not a person. Uh. <laughs> I don't know why they all sound like you, Jeffy, but that's, that's just, I guess, a coincidence. Wait. It's strange. Strange. <laughs> Wait, what? First of all... I was laughing along with you. Now, I'm not so sure. So great. <laughs> He's laughing. <laughs> he thinks it's funny, Jeff. Uh, okay. Okay. All right. Thanks for, getting up, and dissolve. thanks for getting up early and this morning, Jeff. Yeah, no problem. We appreciate <laughs> here it for you. coming in here. You gotta here love it, right? You. you gotta love it. You do, do you? Yeah, you gotta <laughs> love it. it okay. I think it's state law. Uh, might even be federal law. I'm not sure. I'll look into that. Uh, triple eight nine hundred thirty three ninety three. We got this. Here's how bad white people are. Check this out. Because a little is this a black girl who has a little lemonade stand set up? Uh huh. Uh, and a whole bunch of white people show up oh, to hassle her. Do they her. flip the table over? Oh, watch this. Oh. It's disturbing. Oh. That's a biker gang? That's cool. yep. Picking on the, this little girl? Mm-hmm. I don't care Here for this come. video. Here they come. I don't want to see this, Pat. Hang oh, on. Uh-oh. Is he the leader right there? Yeah. Bad guy? Oh, He's no. the leader of the pack. Look at him staring her down. Wait. Reach it into his pocket for a knife. Uh -huh. Or wait. maybe some change. I don't know. One of the two. Oh, wait. They're, they seem to be buying lemonade from the little girl. Man, if you are if you have a lemonade stand and you see that pull up, you have got to be happy, man. <laughs> no kidding. <laughs> you know, make it. It's time to get the bank out. We're about to retire, y'all. You ain't lying. This, it's not going to be an all-day thing in front of the house. It's going to be about five minutes and I'm done. Look at this. Every biker. It's not great. Every single one of them buy, buys buy lemonade. That is awesome. Yeah. It gets too, okay. This is the real America. Yes, that, it is. Hundred percent. Real America, 100%. right here. Not the one you hear about every stinking day from the from the mainstream media. <laughs> it just turns into a block party. Yeah. I just love it. Jeez. I mean, that is not great. If you just if you just leave us alone, mm -hmm. this is how we interact with one another. Okay. Dude, I'm filming. You want to move? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So anyhow, look at this. It goes on, and just they have a good time, just, just chatting, just, just Americans. People are lined up for half a block okay. trying to get to oh, our lemonade. Awesome. <laughs> the one in blue shirt. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. That's nice. I mean, that's really nice. All right, we got it. Uh, what they don't show you is that five minutes later, Thank police you. showed up, realized she didn't have a permit, and uh, beat her, beat her senseless, and uh, took her into prison. We Wait, need, we need to reimagine police were because the, of were, that. <laughs> were the bikers already gone at that yeah, point? Yeah, they were like they were so gone. they couldn't help no, out. No, couldn't help out. No, it actually wouldn't surprise me that they showed up and told her she had to. We got to take it down. Yeah, do we know what state that was in? Because uh, yeah, uh, that's really cool. That's really really cool. Uh, and and again, that's what we actually see and witness and participate in every single day in this country. Yep. Uh, not this other garbage that we're continually beaten over the head with. So, triple eight nine hundred thirty three ninety three. Did you see? I know you're a big Bill Cosby fan, uh, Jeffy. You don't think he should be in jail right now? Uh, <laughs> did you see that he had parole come up? Yeah. I guess it's been three years already, and he, yeah. he had a three to ten sentence, and uh, he refused. To take a sex offender program, and they denied him parole, yeah. so he's going to yeah. stay there. Yeah. He still maintains his innocence. Yeah, he does. Yeah, but he does. And you've been in prison for three years. Wouldn't you just take the stupid class, see if you could get out? Uh, because you did. But that would be admitting his guilt. Then. I I guess that's how he looks at this thing. And now he, you know, he's. But been... I'd rather be. I don't care how it looks. I want to get out of jail. And he could say that. Too right. I mean, he could yes. say that uh, I agreed yes. to this, but I think it's ridiculous that I have to do this. Apparently, they cited a host of reasons, including his failure to complete the treatment program, and for not developing a parole release plan. What? <laughs> he also got a negative review from the state's Department of Corrections. Is he beating the crap out of other prisoners? No, What's he's, he doing? He's in, actually been he mentoring. Jail? Uh, he's like he's like a god in there. I wonder why reported. he got. A, how do he get a negative review? Does he do stand up in there? A oh, serious question. 
Like, you know, like I don't know. No, he's been. It was reported that he was he was mentoring and that they were you hmm. know they were coming to him and talking to him about life and stuff. Hmm. So I, I don't I don't know why. Life and stuff. Life and stuff. <laughs> like is that a. Technical. That's what you. That's what you talk to prisoners about. Life about and stuff. Life. What, what is in yeah. stuff though? Well, well, stuff. It's life and stuff. So yeah, he's <laughs> stubbornly just saying, "I'm not going to do that because I'm not guilty." And so he's going to spend. He'll probably serve his term. Oh yeah, because I mean, it. I'm surprised they even brought the parole hearing that far. You know, mm-hmm. I mean, they're. Fo- I guess they have to. You know, follow the protocols, but they don't want anything to do with that. How old is he now? Eighty three. Eighty three. Yeah. Oh boy. Yeah. Yep. So, I mean, we, we learned uh, you could live um, to what? What's the age, the maximum age you could live? The, the 150, are, they said. Between, between one, Who's they? 120 and 150. Scientists. Life and stuff. You know, people that Scientists know life and stuff. stuff figured it out. Scientists and stuff. Scientists and stuff. Yeah, maximum maximum, yeah. maximum between 120 so, and 150. So, I mean, he'll have some time, right, when he gets out? Oh, yeah. No problem. Except that he's, you know, he's struggling with, uh, I think he's probably 100% blind now. Oh goodness! Uh, his vision was. I wonder he couldn't take that that Cosby? course. Yeah, you know? hmm. yeah. Gotta I mean, be able to see the computer. During the trial, he was, uh, I think, almost a hundred percent blind. So he probably is now. Blind and stuff. Blind and stuff. Yeah, can't see and stuff. Researchers uh, believe they've identified the upper limit of human mortality, one hundred and fifty. This would top the current record for the oldest human, Jean Calment, who passed away in nineteen ninety seven at one twenty two. Yeah. She was a spry. 122 years old. Old and stuff. Wow. Old and stuff, yeah. Wow. But we're regularly seeing people in, you know. In their hundreds. uh, Hundreds and between 110 and 120 now. Uh, But artificial intelligence analyzed health and fitness related information. Researchers determined that the human lifespan is most significantly based on two data, data points. Biological age associated with stress, lifestyle, chronic diseases, and resilience. How quickly you can return to normal uh, after some kind of stress. Hmm. Using these findings and related trends, researchers reckon around 120 to 150 years old. Then you'll have a complete loss of resilience. This study is a right. lie. Uh, but huh. they, they, but that's just living a, a regular life with you know no no assistance other than you know, no upgrades. Correct. And they they talked to. In, if you have upgrades, how long can you live? They said that they they're looking at the outside of a thousand. A thousand in years the, in this story, they said with uh, with help wow. and uh, other um, you mm. know computer like assistance and stuff uh, <laughs> that you hit a thousand. I mean, look, really? we, got, we got proof that the story is false sitting right here. <laughs> Jeffy is way north of one fifty. Way, yeah, yeah way. years. Yeah. Uh, you know, Adam lived to what nine sixty three or something, according to the Bible. Mm. Some people don't believe that's an actual timeline but i don't see why not um he was told in the garden that on that day he would surely die and if you believe that one day for god is a thousand years as many people reckon he died in the same day at 963 so 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 there's that or he took (laughs) supplements and made it that long right he may have taken some supplements yeah Yeah. computer enhancements sure i don't know (laughs) Whatever. I mean, we weren't there. <laughs> you know, people always say, well, the human body's not, we're not meant to live that long. That's not right in the Bible. Well, we don't, we don't know, but the, before, before all the degradation was introduced into humanity, maybe the bodies just did last longer at that point. Mm-hmm. Maybe to propagate the species, uh, the Lord made it so the human body lasted longer. Possible. What are you considering degradation? <laughs> Uh, sin, disease. This is a question. Sin and stuff. Rot. Sin and stuff. Filth. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that kind of degradation. Okay. Yeah. Uh huh. Yeah. Right. Is that is that talked about in that? Okay, it might book be mentioned. mentioned. Might be mentioned somewhere. I don't know. I, I mean, but the standards back then were so high. I mean, eating fruit was oh, my bad. Right. You know? Sorry. Triple eight nine hundred thirty three ninety three. More pack Gray unleashed coming up. My pants. You pooped in your pants. I, I pooped my pants. <laughs> you pooped in your pants. I, I pooped my pants. It's, I, it's still funny to me. <laughs> oh, yeah. And the more I play it, the funnier it gets. <laughs> you pooped in your pants. I, I pooped my pants. In stuff. You yeah. pooped in your pants. I, I pooped uh, my pants. I mean, I just may do this the rest of the show. 
Uh, an hour and 24 minutes. It makes life a little bit pants. better. I, I right? Pooped my pants. <laughs> you pooped in your pants. I, I pooped my pants. Spencer's still laughing about some guy that pooped in his pants. <laughs> and admits it on national TV. Yeah. You got to love it. I mean, she forced him into it, too. <laughs> you pooped in your pants. You I pooped, pooped in your pants. I, I wasn't going to say pants. it like that, I woman. My pants. I, I pooped my pants. It's awesome. You yeah. pooped in your pants. I, I pooped my pants. <laughs> At the White House. <laughs> which makes it. All the more delicious. Yeah. And appropriate, considering who was occupying it at that time. Yeah, no kidding. Uh, All right, we got some tweets here. Via Getty tweets. That person that we finally found on the, you know, loves to flaunt his name in our face. Uh, That list of Whitey results was like a list of possible names for every teenage garage band. Oh, Oh, yeah. True. Snow Roaches. (gasps) Tobin for Pope campaign. So we're now being offered donuts, ice cream, beer, and lottery tickets for getting vaccinated. It's so beautiful to see how deeply the state cares about our health and well-being. <laughs> yes, it is. Sure is. Uh, from Wes, I think it's a close race between Joe Biden and Scott Steiner when it comes to math. <laughs> Scott Steiner, the wrestler, uh-huh. who did the 143 and two-thirds chance thing. I got 141 mm-hmm. and two-thirds 101. chance of mm-hmm. winning. The numbers don't lie. No, they don't. No, they do not lie. <laughs> uh, Peekapool, uh, the snarky jackhole Pokemon, tweets, Who keeps telling Mumbly Joe that he's hilarious that he, so he feels the need to let us know he's not joking? It's just <laughs> a weird that, affectation yeah. that he's always had. <laughs> Isn't it? Yeah. He's done that. If you go back to his earlier days in the 70s and 80s, he always does. I'm, I'm not, not joking. joking. I'm not joking. I'm not joking here. I'm not joking. I'm not. I'm not joking. That's no lie. I, I'm. That's. I'm serious. Yeah. Okay. We we yeah. got it. We got it. <laughs> By the way, you we, pooped your pants. I, I pooped my pants. <laughs> well, that's true too. Yeah. You yeah. pooped in your pants. I I pooped my pants. I'm yeah. sure he probably I'm does that every day. I mean, I'm not joking. I pooped my pants. Boy. I saw that the longtime White House butler retired, like after forty something years. He got he tired pro- of changing. The I was going to say he probably Joe got tired. Uh, he's like, I didn't sign mm-hmm. up to be a All right. nursing home assistant, and that's probably what it's <laughs> evolved to. Uh, I would leave that stuff to Jill. True. I'd, yeah. you know, you wanted this. You wanted this life. Exactly. You deal with it. Right. So. Harry is talking about the Alzheimer's thing and, and the oh, beds yeah, yeah. that are going to be occupied. Of major technologies. <clears throat> I also think, and I'm pushing very hard, to make major investments in medicines and cures of the future. Folks, diseases like Alzheimer's, diabetes, cancers, they're all on the cusp of being able to be dealt with. Mm. You know, if we don't do something about Alzheimer's in America... Every single solitary hospital bed that exists in America, as the nurses can tell you, every single one will be occupied in the next 15 years with an Alzheimer's patient. Every one. What? Okay. Costing us in excess of a trillion dollars. Hmm. I mean, he kept repeating it. He knew exactly what he was saying. Every single, single. solitary <laughs> hospital bed is going to be occupied by an Alzheimer's patient. And nurses patient. will tell you. You mean we're not going to have any other illness? Uh, nope. That's well, a- no, because remember, he huh. promised to cure cancer. He just said, right. we got to do something about cancer. Bro, you said if we elected you, you would cure cancer. What do you mean we've got to deal with it? Where's your cure, man? Oh, He's the one who keeps saying it. Yeah. Over this is and a case over. of life and death. <clears throat> mm-hmm. We're talking about uh, uh, we're people's talking. lives. People's lives. I want, to, I want you to know that once we beat COVID, mm-hmm. we're going to do everything we can to end COVID. cancer as we know it. Oh, we're going to do everything we can. Now, see, that's got qualifiers. I mean, remember the campaign trail? He, he flat out said in Iowa, you elect me, we'll cure cancer. If I'm elected oh, president, you. you're you. going to see thank the you, single Rob. most important thing that changes in America is we're going to cure cancer. Thank you, Rob. I'm ready for that. No Let's qualifiers there. So what are we waiting for, old man? Let's do this. Let's do it. And stuff. I mean, we're, what are we, 120 days into it? Is that it? I Something like that. <laughs> I don't, it might not even be quite that many. I'm not sure. <laughs> oh, I'll do some Keith math and get back to you. Total number of all U.S. hospitals, uh, 6,090. So how many wonder what the average? Oh, staffed beds in community hospitals, 900, uh, 19,000, 919,559. So there are going to be 919,559 beds occupied by Alzheimer's 
uh, patients in 10 years? 15. 15 years. 15. Okay. 15 years. Wow, don't That's we? crazy. <laughs> that is crazy. <laughs> I mean, we can probably do what he asked us to do and ask the nurses, see if they tell us. I will ask a nurse. <laughs> I, if there's a nurse <laughs> listening right now, <laughs> yeah. call. Let and, us know. Uh, we're going to ask you that Let question. Because uh, the president said, ask a nurse. Yeah. So I'm going to ask a nurse. I'll tell you. Gen- gentlemen, um, <laughs> there are 1,441 days in uh, one term presidency. Mm-hmm. 1,141? I don't know what I just said. All right. So, anyway, 128 days in right now. <laughs> And uh, 128. we're 11% of the way home. So at least it's better than what you said. You said 120. So it's been I 128. Did. So, yeah, it's an eight, eight <laughs> extra days. We're 11% down the road. We're almost there. Mm. Just hang cow. on. Hang on. What I'm hanging on for is 2022 so that at least we can block some of his BS. Please, by all that is holy. It's not going to matter. Although he keeps doing the executive orders. It's not going to matter. It's <laughs> over. I got Eeyore over here. <laughs> It's true, though. I can't. Yeah, wasn't Eeyore a donkey, by the way? Yes. If I recall? Yes. yes. I Eeyore believe that Eeyore was a was donkey. And continues to be. Oh, yeah, he's a desert. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> you never laugh like that, though. Why? That, that donkey's in a good mood. Eeyore was always yeah. moping along. Okay. <laughs> not going to matter. Well. Public and Congress not oh, going to do anything. It's over. Doesn't matter who wins in 2022. <laughs> Still going to be bad. Who's got honey? <laughs> <laughs> Let me tell you about Omega XL. This will brighten your day because Omega XL can get rid of the pain brought on by inflammation that's in your life and uh, hampering you every single day. You know, it's hard to concentrate on important things when you're in pain. It it really is. And so if you can't find a way out of it, it really makes things difficult in your life and puts you on edge, makes you a little, I don't know, irritable maybe at times. This is backed by 35 years of clinical research. Omega XL attacks inflammation. It has what's virtually an off switch to the inflammation. And when that inflammation goes away, so does the pain. This could change your life. So give it a try. It is all natural. It's not something you're going to become addicted to. Now, a lot of people think, oh, all natural. I'm not going to do that. What is that, like eye of newt or something? <laughs> a frog's tongue? I am not. That's not going to help. No, this is the omega fatty acids from the pristine waters around New Zealand. And it's been clinically shown after 35 years of clinical research to be really effective. Worked for me. And you should give it a shot, see if it works for you, too. When you go to OmegaXL.com slash Pat, you buy one bottle, we'll throw in a second one for free. So you buy one, you get one free at OmegaXL.com slash Pat. Pat Gray. USA Today removed the word male <laughs> from female athletes op-ed. Remember the one we read part of? The girl from uh, Connecticut that is a runner, and she was the best in the state. She was the fastest girl in the state. She's the one that's been whining, complaining. Yeah, that she's been she's whining the, losing. complaining. She's losing to men. Yeah, she thinks that's a little unfair. Tired of hearing the whining. Uh, are, you, are you tired Run of it? Run faster. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> Apparently, USA Today was as well. They changed, without her authorization, the word male to transgender in her opinion piece. I, uh, this a... is so asinine. God, I just can't take it. Uh, anyway, she uh, she is pissed. and uh, Rightfully so. Rightfully so. She's suing the state of Connecticut on behalf of her and some other girls, but she's already passed that. She's passed the high school in Connecticut thing. So this isn't even go- going to help her, but she's trying to help girls in the future. Which is tremendous. Because this will only get worse, you know, when when more people realize, hey, you know, I can excel if I uh, cross over to, to women's sports. Um, Wait. So in uh, USA is, Today. People are just, they're transitioning to being mm-hmm. a female yes and then want to participate in female oh, sports. That's right. That's right? a better way to phrase that. Yes. Uh-huh. They're not uh-huh. just doing it. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. What you yeah. said, Jeffy. That's <laughs> what I'm not I, just doing it. That's what I meant to say. 
Uh, Why do you spin the news, Pat? Uh, I don't know. I don't know because I'm just uh, hateful. Uh, an editor's note in USA, USA Today said, this column has been updated to reflect USA Today's standards oh, and style up. guidelines. We regret that hurtful language was used. Oh. <sighs> Wait, what happened to... Ah! You well, know, don't, even... don't mess with the art. You know, don't, don't, mm-hmm. don't tinker with people's yeah. work. What are you doing there? Ugh. This that reminds me of the uh, Will Witt situation. Will Witt from Prager U went onto a campus. I'm not sure. I can't remember which campus this is. And asked people, what is a woman? What is a woman? Tough question, right? It was to some. <laughs> oh, How would you guys define a woman? There is no like certain definition of a woman. Oh, Strong, independent, like... um, free. Anybody who identifies himself with the term a woman. There you go. No. There you go, baby. Independent. No. Just succeeding no. in life, <laughs> trying their best. <laughs> yeah. Submissive. Oh, whoa, whoa, um, wait, what? Let me see. <laughs> I don't think a woman has to be feminine specifically. Like, I think a woman sure. can be anything you want. They're anything. beautiful, you beautiful. know, sweet, sensitive creatures. But All you right, know, we go. I think they're uh, they're pretty great. You know, mm-hmm. take the mask. I agree. Off. You think that there are genetic or biological characteristics that define a woman? Listen. Um. Uh. Oh no. I. I Bro, that's a tough question. I think being Pause a woman a is a state of mind. No, that isn't a tough question. Uh, uh, that's uh, the uh, thing. Uh, 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 that's not a tough question. Well, I mean, are the- there physical characteristics that make a woman? Uh, you know why that's hard to say? That's well, a see, tough in, question. In that guy's defense, look at uh, it. He probably has no clue wow. if there are differences. <laughs> All right, let's see the rest. I think being a woman is a state of mind and like an identity <laughs> rather than no. some. There is a biological term for nice being hair. a female, of course, but it's, mm, a, no. it's who you are and who you define yourself as a person rather than mm-hmm. what you're, what's between your pants. I feel like no. gender is pretty fluid. Between your you pants? You know what I'm saying? Like, I don't think you need to define mm. any stuff, like anything like that. Uh, yeah. I don't really like to label things, you know? Just yeah. uh, a woman, you know, yeah. women have their parts, but like, <laughs> how you know, do you they know can this? be whatever they want to be, you know? They could be you whatever they want to be. I could be a woman. If you wanted, sure, you, you definitely yeah. could. Yeah, definitely. and then as a healthcare professional, you I just have to know exactly true. what parts they have, so I know how to treat it. But at the end of the day, if that's what they choose to um, mm-hmm. label themselves at, that's how they are. Yeah. Nice. Could a woman get testicular cancer? <laughs> yes. Yes. There are a lot of people right now who <laughs> take the term "woman" and just all right. Pause it for a second. Could what a great question Will just asked there. Could a woman get testicular cancer? Yes. Yes. <laughs> Absolutely. Said, you, no. And she said it immediately. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. And was yes. that, that was the healthcare lady? I don't know. Yeah, because she, she had just said, I'm in healthcare, I'm studying healthcare. So, yeah. Oh, my and God. A woman, well, she's studying healthcare. She may not have gotten that far in the classes <laughs> yet. We haven't studied the testicles <laughs> yeah. yet. So, I don't, <laughs> I don't know. I don't okay. really know what those yeah, are. Sure, yes. I guess pretty much anybody can have them, you know, the giblets. Anybody can have giblets <laughs> and get giblet cancer. Sure. <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> Boy, that, that really kind of uh, lessens the blow when, yeah. you, when you say it like that. Well, that's why I'm I sorry, do it. sorry, sir. You've yes. got cancer of the giblets. Mm-hmm. Oh. Oh. Okay. 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 I can deal with this. What if I identify as a woman? <laughs> Does, Does cancer matter. magically matter. go away? Does not matter. <laughs> All right, let's see more. And then as a healthcare professional, I just have to know exactly yeah. Oh, yeah. what parts they have so I know how to treat it. But at the end of the day, if that's what they choose to mm. um, label themselves at, that's how they are. Yeah. Could a woman get testicular cancer? Unreal. Yes. There's a lot of people right now who take the term woman and just put like a very broad stroke over it. And they do the same thing with the word man. And it kind of, you know, dilutes what woman actually means. The great characteristics about women, the things that make them great. It makes it so that anything or anyone can be a woman, which mm-hmm. kind of destroys in a sense. You know what I mean? Yeah. I feel like there's a difference between sex and gender. So sex is what's between your legs Amen. and that's what makes you biologically woman and man. But mm-hmm. gender is how you feel actually. Right. Is it ever kind of like, no, it doesn't really matter how you feel no, because woman has a is. set definition. Mm. I think that gender is defined by genitals. I don't think that that's something that you can, thank you. That you Good can God. or should thank be able you. to change. Um, just because she's oh, not wearing a mask, biology. I'd like to point out because she's smart. Um, and then even then when you do change that, you're still, your biological and Isn't chemical makeup is still going to be fascinating. Fe- is, or if you're changing to a woman, then you're still male. There's so many different things Positive people can second. identify. Isn't that fascinating? That she's the only one who understands there are physical characteristics that differentiate between men and women. And she's the only one not wearing a mask. Isn't that 
fascinating. That is fascinating. <laughs> Jeez. That is right. fascinating. Let's see the rest of this. Different things people can identify as, like uh, they, thems, or non-binary. Like, man, it all depends on the person and how you feel. But if you want to walk around saying you're a woman with a penis, then good for you. I'm a woman good with a penis, you. guys. <laughs> if that's what you feel, then you're a woman. If you know? that's how you feel, you're a woman. So would you date me? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> That's a tough question. <laughs> Got you there. Uh, I don't know that way. <laughs> what do you mean? I'm a woman. I just said I'm a woman. <laughs> I mean, the penis. That's, that's the that's the tricky part. I don't. It's the I don't like part. the penis part. What? You, know? you don't you see a lot of women with penises. Would you date that person if they were a man with a vagina? <laughs> no, because I'm attracted to male. I have like a like type. Uh, so. People will say that's transphobic of you. Because you don't want to date someone who says they're a woman or says they're uh -huh. a man. Yeah. I'm not discriminating anybody. It's just whatever I'm attracted oh, to. I, like. I could be attracted yeah. to uh, mm -hmm. a specific look or mostly mm -hmm. if their mm -hmm. their interest is what attracts me most. So oh, it, it's unfair to say that I would yeah, to exists. label someone as being transphobic or homophobic or, you know, all these phobias mm -hmm. and that we have nowadays just because I personally don't want to. Everyone is in this mindset of, but I don't want to offend you. Mm -hmm. I don't want to offend what you say you are and things like that. And that's just, that's not how it should be. Thanks for watching, guys. If you enjoyed this hey, video, comment your hey, thoughts down. Her. All right. Wow, that is... Amazing. Really, it can be summed up by this six-year-old. Boys have a penis. Girls have a vagina. Okay. <laughs> Thanks for the tip. Thanks for the tip. <laughs> Pretty good safety tip, actually. That is a, Pretty good, that tip. Is a good safety yeah. tip. Uh -huh. We're doomed. You know this, right? Holy cow. We are doomed. That's amazing. <laughs> that was stuff. a college yeah, campus. going to be a lot of people with testicular cancer. It What's shows. <laughs> right. It shows just how completely indoctrinated they are. Boy, no kidding. Doesn't it? It just shows that they've been propagandized to the point. They don't even think about it anymore. It's just, yep, if you want to identify that way, you can be whatever you want. Whatever. Pat Gray is here on the Blaze Radio Network. Good morning, Americans. It's Friday. Thanks for being here with us. 888 900 Also, at Pat Unleashed on Twitter. Hard to believe that uh, that PragerU video with Will Witt is, is true. It's hard to believe it's true. When you go on a college campus and ask students, what is a woman? And they go to whatever you identify as. That's... Wow. Do you want to pretend that Will Witt was lying to us? I do want to pretend. Yes, let's pretend. The pastor, I hate him so let's pretend much. Pretend he paid a bunch of actors Thank you. to say those he's things. He's not funny. He thinks he's funny doing right. this kind of stuff. Uh, that's no. not funny. It's not funny. <laughs> it's really not. It's amazing how we're, we live in a nation of 330 million people. And somehow we've been backed into a corner by 0.7% of that population. The trans people, the, the, the whole thing, it's, it's, you're, there's like 2 million people. It's not even 1% of the population. 1% would be 3.3 million. 10% would be 33.3 million. We're not even there. And yet, we can't just identify what is actually real anymore. I mean, reality has been altered. By 0.7%. Well, I will of the say population. that that 0.7 is. So we don't offend them. Has received a lot of help from. From. Yes, from uh, other buffoons. Yes. From like minded people who, who want the destruction of our civilization. Yes. And know that this is part of it. If you can't accept reality and deal with reality, follow the science and the biology, then you're not going to be able to succeed. You're not going to be able to function. And so I guess if that's your goal, I mean, they're doing a really good job of it. It does seem to be working. They're progressive allies Remember, and yeah. have really beaten us down. Just a few years ago, we were sitting here <clears throat> stunned that when they went to a campus, the students had no idea who fought in the American Civil War. I mean, mm -hmm. now it's to the point where they can't even identify a man and a woman. We, we, we pine for the days when, when yeah. as dumb as they were. Those were good times. Yeah, it was just the good Civil times. War you didn't know? <laughs> oh, boy, I wish we had those days back. <laughs> yeah, you could laugh at them thinking, that's great. They're just stupid. Not anymore. These kids are going to be in charge in a few years. 
in just a few years. Parents, please ask your children what they believe on these issues, especially your college age kids, what they believe on these things and help them understand if you're going to follow the science, Putin, you need to you need to realize that there are two genders. Sorry. Uh, there's no such thing as non-binary. And if they don't know who oh was in gosh. the Civil War, yeah, shame that's just on you. between us, right. right? We didn't. That didn't. That's just between us, right? Sure. Yeah, we haven't okay. come back from the break yet, have we? Okay. We're just Good. talking Good. off air right now. Uh, meanwhile, Lockheed Martin, all of these powerful corporations, just going with the flow of this progressive BS. Uh, last year, Lockheed Martin, the nation's largest defense contractor sent white male executives to a three-day diversity training program aimed at deconstructing their white male culture. Good. Finally. And encouraging them to atone for their white male privilege. The program, hosted on Zoom for a cohort of 13 Lockheed employees, was led by the diversity consulting firm White Men as Full Diversity Partners. Then that is a good gig. Mm-hmm. Right there, it becoming doing that. If you want to be make some money, <laughs> right. that's a good gig. Right now, there's no shortage. Yes. There's, oh yeah, because so companies, companies don't yeah. know what to do. Yeah, right. I mean, they're just if you go to them and say, yeah, "I've got a diversity training program," uh, I'll help right, you. Right now, I could help you. Uh, we we can, specialize in helping white males awaken together. Yeah, we can oh, do that. Okay, we come can. on in and talk to us. Well, no, I can't put come you up in. in the, we can in the court. Uh, yeah, no, no, we can do that. Over We're not going to put you up in the conference no, room uh, for oh. for only about ten grand uh, for a three hour class. We can do it over Zoom, and I still need probably another fifty or sixty thousand to create mm-hmm. some paperwork to send to you on a PDF that you can print out for the class. Uh-huh. Uh huh. And then yeah. then we'll sit down. A little homework that they can yeah. take home with yeah. them. Yeah. Mm-hmm. The Lockheed employees, all senior leaders in the company, including Aaron Huckabee, the director of global supply chain operations, retired Air Force Lieutenant Colonel David Starr, and others were all present at this thing. At the beginning of the program, the diversity trainers led a free association exercise, asking the Lockheed employees to list connotations for the term white men. The trainers wrote down old, racist, privileged, anti-women, angry, Aryan nation, KKK, founding fathers, guns, guilty, and can't jump. <laughs> and soup, wow. soup cookies. Right? Uh, yes. You're right. <laughs> According to the participants, these perceptions have led to assumptions about white men and diversity. I'd sue this stinking company. No kidding. I'd sue them for discrimination because that's exactly what this is. It's racist discrimination. With many employees believing that white men don't care about diversity, have a classical perspective on history oh, yeah. and colonialism, and don't give away our power. <laughs> the White Men is Full Diversity Partners team uh, framed the purpose of the training session as providing a benefit for white men who embrace the diversity and inclusion philosophy. In okay. response to a prompt about what's in it for white men, the participants listed benefits such as I won't get replaced by someone who is better for who is a better full diversity partner. I will improve the brand, image, reputation of white men. And I will have less nagging sense of guilt that I am the problem. You know what? I don't have any nagging sense of guilt that I'm the problem. So sue me. That right there is the problem. Yeah, that's the problem right there. It is. They want us all to feel guilty about being white men. Yeah. No. No. Sorry, I'm not going to. You know, everybody's... Yelling and screaming about the, about their pride. We've got a full month of pride for homosexuals. Yeah. A whole month. We've got the Black uh, History Month in February, where we celebrate that. I'm sure there's a Hispanic month or two in there uh, on the calendar year somewhere. But we have to feel ashamed. No, sorry, this is garbage. I am so sick and tired of it. <laughs> Well, I mean, they gave Pride Month wow. what, as June, right? Yep. And so the shortest month of the year we gave to uh, Black History Month. Oh, what a good point. Yeah, exactly, yeah. So the shortest month good. Of the year, We're still so discriminating we against you. them. Thank you. And Hispanic Heritage Month, this is curious. Hispanic Heritage, yeah, right. Uh, I knew there was one. Yeah, well, it's... What month is it? September 15th through October 15th. That's no, no, a no, weird no, no, month. No, you no. get a month. <laughs> All right. You don't get to, to you stand in over? each month. You, you can't cross months. Uh-uh. <laughs> 
It's the weirdest There was too day. much going on at the first. Right. Uh, Look, was, we don't want it. Yeah, Labor Day gets in the it's way. Busy, yeah. and I tell you That's what. That's why. Yeah. 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 Yeah, yeah. And we can't holiday. do it in October because then it's Halloween. and uh, right. okay. November's out. Thanksgiving. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Can't, obviously, yeah. December. Yeah. We've um, already given uh, Black History Month to the shortest yeah. month of the year. Yeah, and we can't, you, and we so can't do can't it in do January that. because that's when MLK's birthday is, right? <laughs> right? So then they're left with, what, May through August. We can't do July because of that. Again, Memorial Day in May. Mm-hmm. What, what am I, I missing that. here? So we got... We got July 4th. March is St. Patrick's Day with the Irish, right? So then mm-hmm. we got, you, get, you get either April, pick it one. Pick one, guys. You got April. Another short month. June yeah. mm-hmm. or August. Which do you want? You get the 15th through the 15th. That's what you get. Zip it. <laughs> <laughs> so true. So true. What a world. But, the, but we're, I mean, and it's starting from the very beginning, right? I mean, I talked earlier about the Portland teacher and the Zoom class, the eighth grade teacher, where she said, you know, you need to evolve or dissolve. Mm-hmm. And uh, this minute 22 of her little, uh, her little update to all the teachers that are, uh-huh, uh-huh, uh-huh. Catherine Watkins, eighth grade humanities teacher at Cedar Park Middle nice School, and my pronouns are she, her, we, and us. Um, she had to, she had to I'm look gonna at say them. something that's not Shh. nice Positive and not sweet. She had but... to look at them to know what they were. You're so disingenuous. Oh, shut up. Is this really where we are? Where yeah, you oh, have yeah. to state your freaking pronouns? I can't. <laughs> my pronouns are she, her, we, are, and us. What? Uh, uh, why do uh, a why do I need to know that? Why do we care? B I don't give a rat's anus, <laughs> and uh, C wow. Wow. You, right. you've got the worst hat on I've ever. What are you doing with that stupid ass hat? I, I thought it was kind of cool. Cultural appropriation. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You're appropriating somebody's culture there. I don't know who's some island group or maybe <laughs> African. I don't know. I don't know where that came from. It is Pacific Islanders Month. It is, isn't it? Is it Pacific it is, Islanders Month? Gee, am I going to have to look up this one now? Hang is on. that this month? I don't know. It's uh, Asian American and Pacific Islander Month. I somewhere. think so, yeah. Yeah, it's mm-hmm. May. May. Yeah. All of May. And so whenever someone says, you know, every month is White Heritage Month, bull crap, every month is taken by somebody else. Are you kidding me? Yeah. That's right. All right, let's see what else it's you had to true. say. It's true. It's true. If it's you're not. True evolving into an anti-racist educator Uh-oh. you're making yourself obsolete in this oh, field wow. of profession in this um, field of our profession is only getting browner is this browner a teacher did she just say and this so field of if, profession you know obviously you can't change your mind <laughs> said they're getting browner right, and browner but you can change your mind feels so that you can actually uh, function help us in a, a district that is full of BIPOC mm. children so if you're being resistant, I understand that. Pause it for a but second. You're, have- you're being resistant. I understand that. What do you want to bet there's nobody deaf on that Zoom call? What do you bet there's not a single deaf person? <laughs> and but they we still, got a signer. And we still have seen- the person That's signing. A good what point. do you want to bet? I've never seen a Zoom signer. I haven't either. That, that, they're groundbreaking right That's here. how asinine this is. We've got to include deaf people even if they're not on the call. All right, let's see the rest. You have to eventually come to the light. Because if you're going to keep with those old views Mm. of um, colonialism, um, it's going to lead to being fired because you're going to be doing damage to our children, um, trauma. And so as we fire the teachers who sexually abuse our children, we will be firing the the teachers who do racist things to our children and traumatize them. And while our district might not be completely on there, um, OEA is working on it. Uh-huh. All right. NEA is working on it. And so it's just a matter of time. So it's like you either evolve or dissolve. Yeah. You've got to start walking with us. It's just like the sexual Listen to that. Wow. Welcome to Nazi Germany. No kidding. Welcome to Nazi Germany. You got to get on board or I'm sorry. Uh, you're going to be placed in a, in a re-education camp. And That's let's, just a fact. Let's not blow by that point that Jeffy wow. just made. She just compared, if you aren't on the same page as us yeah. here with, with our teaching the mm-hmm. kids, indoctrinating them into, into critical race theory, then you're a sexual you're, you're abuser. You're as bad as a sexual predator. What yeah. the hell? I- really bad. This is really bad. I would say so, put up a green screen and go play mm. golf while this thing is going on, but no, we've got to push back. Big time. Well, they did. You saw all the teachers. Oh, you oh saw yeah, back all the nodding. There. Yeah, jumping in. Look there. at me pushing uh, back with my uh, nodding. Uh, 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 
Uh-huh. Yep. Yeah. Evolve or dissolve. Okay. Evolve or dissolve. Okay. If I can pay my mortgage on time, I am totally fine brainwashing these children. Absolutely. Yes, ma'am. Mm -hmm. mm. Wow. I uh, got a tweet here from Extra White. <laughs> wow. Yeah. Well, wow. see, look at your audience. That's uh -huh. a scary admission uh -huh. right there. I know. <laughs> Think of all the Star Wars sequels you could see if you live to be a thousand. Hmm. All right. Jeffy, have you seen all of the movies, the Star Wars franchise? Yeah, I guess. Yeah. Uh, you see them, and you've seen one, you've seen them all. And how many <laughs> Fast and Furious sequels are you going to see? We've had well, nine, nine already, and that started way after Star Wars did. Yeah, I love them. So, Great. do you love them? Oh, man. Do you love them? Uh -huh. Yeah. That one car crash? Wasn't that something? Was awesome. Oh, wait. Awesome. <laughs> it was awesome. <laughs> that one time when they jumped. Yeah. And the, then, the and jumped then the they, car. they grabbed, mm -hmm. and then they jumped some oh, we more. Have a, we it have a clip awesome. from Fast and Furious 9 right here. Uh, you see the, whoa! Whoa, oh, yeah. Oh. That Seriously. does look like it's Fast and Furious. That yes, is real does. life, man. That guy ran over a tire. Tire in the road, and then... <laughs> Off sure he went. everybody was fine, right? I love that in just about every preview that I've seen for an F9 movie, F, Fast and Furious yeah. movie, they've got a car jumping a cliff. Oh, yeah. Like a, a huge... Chasm. Not jumping a tire? No, not jumping a tire. <laughs> yeah. No, that's not God, spectacular man. enough. Look at that. No, the one jumps a cliff and then gets caught on a from a, a plane hook or something. Yeah, right? yeah and then it awesome. swings it around. Yeah. Yeah. Awesome. Yeah. How? Who can't do that? Uh, I, don't know. I don't understand that franchise. <laughs> no, I don't either. I, I, it's huge, though. Well, they've made a lot of huge. money, Matt. You don't do uh, nine if it's money. not making money. I right? know. We broke it down before. We broke it down on Pat and Stu at one point uh, where like the first one did okay – Good enough to have the second one. The second one was questionable, I think, if I remember right. And they still they still popped the third Powered one, through. which was great. <laughs> then the like the third and fourth ones just made a huge amount of money, so it was not going to stop after that. Mm -hmm. So did you I mean, like the first through. one? Yeah, I mean, yeah, I guess. I, don't I mean, know. I gave it an hour. Yeah, I couldn't take I mean, it. I had to turn it off. Ugh. It's stupid. It's I mean, yeah. It's I mean, it so just stupid. So stupid. Okay. <laughs> it's so dumb. <laughs> it's ridiculous. And I thought I thought the girl in it, the star, what's her name? Is it Michelle Rodriguez? Sure. Is that from, who it is? from Lost? Sure. Yes. Hispanic chick. Yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah uh -huh. I don't know her name. But I yeah. thought she died in one of them. What? Didn't she die in one oh, of them? No. And now she's you, back. I don't know if you know this. You don't die in movies. Yeah, you don't die. You don't no. die. Okay. All right. You come back. Hmm. You come back. It was all a dream. It just man. looks like you were dead. Okay, so she was just taking a shower for one of the... Uh, <laughs> One of the movies, and then she woke up yeah. or something. and magically back. Mm -hmm. All right, let me tell you about Built Bar. Uh, Built Bar is a revolution in the world of protein bars because it's made by people who first wanted to make something that tasted good, second wanted to make something that was actually good for you. Uh, and so that's the order that you, that you do things if you really want people to love it. Um, and I do. I, everybody I know who's tried these loves them. Built Bars are high in protein and fiber. They're low in calories and carbs. I mean, three to five net carbs. That's it. So they're great, even if you're trying to do something like keto or, I guess, Atkins, if anybody does that anymore. And the best part of it is they taste amazing. They don't, you know, you're not going to have that chalky taste or that aftertaste of chemicals after you eat them like you do with other protein bars. Built Bars come in a variety of flavors. All of them are delicious. Cookies and cream, caramel brownie, raspberry. Ah. And if you've been waiting to lose weight or you really want to and you want to get fit, don't give up. Go for it with Built Bars. They'll help you curb your, your hunger. And when you eat them, you don't have to feel guilty. That's 130 calories. Big deal. Go to BuiltBar.com. Use the promo code PAT15 to save 15% off your first order. Use the promo code PAT15 for 15% off at BuiltBar.com. Right. Exactly. That's what I'm saying. So, put that in your pipe and smoke it. Uh, Hippie Patriot tweets, uh, Snoobidge and hoo-ha equals woman. Pickle and giblets equals man. Okay, yeah, that's pretty simple. Yeah. Yeah. But what about you? You didn't get any into any feelings at all. No, you didn't. What about the feelings? What, what no, about you didn't. the way I identify? What, what about that? So, we got to commit that to memory? What was it again? I can't remember. It was a <sighs> Snoobidge and hoo-ha. Woman, yes, woman. Yeah. According to this, pickle and giblets, uh, man. Man, I'm mm -hmm. not gonna remember all that. <clears throat> no, it's pretty complicated. <sighs> Todd Curtis tweets: Hey, did your white privilege starter kit come with an "I can do anything I want" card? 
because that's what the <laughs> the students were saying. A woman is anything she wants. She, she can wants. do anything she wants. Mine didn't, and I need to know if I can get a refund. <laughs> <laughs> From Publius, if I was on that Zoom meeting, I would have turned off my camera and pulled a Joe Biden, taken a nap. <laughs> uh, it's it's the, uh, the compliance is amazing. Everybody's just, yep, nodding along. Uh-huh. Yeah, evolve or dissolve. Right. Evolve or dissolve. Yeah, what you said. <laughs> All right, uh, let's go to Brad in Texas. Hey, Brad, you're on the blaze. Hey, yeah. So uh, you guys talking about pickles and giblets? Mm-hmm. I actually had testicular cancer. Oh boy. Oh boy. Are you a woman or a man? We... Well, that's what I'm concerned about. Okay, yeah. <laughs> I lost one. Yeah. And they they did what they called a nudical. So I still got two things. In there, yeah, but one of them's not real. Oh wow, so nice! I don't know which way do I? Huh? I don't know which way to <laughs> identify. So they had to remove one, just like Lance Armstrong, right? Uh, but they—I right. didn't know they put like a little prosthetic thing in there. Is it a marble? What is it? I have no idea. You know, <laughs> really, you don't know? <laughs> yeah, I mean, that's interesting. It's Seems like you take inventory, size, but it's huh. just there. Okay. Does it feel any different than the other one? Uh, well, it doesn't hurt. Don't you dare there. tell me you don't know. I'll <laughs> hang this phone up right now. You have to know. This is impossible. Uh, all well, right, Brad. I, mean, I don't think I don't we want The rest of us there. don't want to know. The rest of us don't want to know. <laughs> so, yeah, good. Yeah, you're good. Uh, thanks, Brad. Appreciate it. Hope you worked that out because, yeah, it's impossible. Yeah, no kidding. It's impossible to know whether you're a man or a woman. A woman right. Knows. Testicular cancer is no, that's no clue. I would ask your professional uh, medical uh, testicular no. doc, mm-hmm. you know, even the guy that put in the fake one. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Talk to him. Go ask him. See, About yeah, what, ask. what gender her. you are. Or her. Yeah, mm-hmm. see what you are. Yeah, him or her. Right. Yeah, see what you are. Right. And that, hold on. That, that's interesting, though, because there are dude gynecologists, which I've never understood. But are um, there. Why? Are there female. <laughs> what in the world are you stop, stop talking, talking about? No, no, no. Go to the I've call. Never Just go to the call. Just, I'm sorry I went down this road. Go to the caller. <laughs> go to the caller, please. Uh, David in Indiana. <laughs> You're on the blaze. Hi. Hey, nice talking to all of you. Um, I'm just commenting on Joe Biden standing in front of the Manuel Mills in that uh, video that we were making fun of him in. Mm-hmm. He, uh, you know, doesn't really care about the American worker. It's absolutely agonizing. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah. Not to sound like Jeffy, yeah. I know. Uh, it's just, I, know. I, I got nothing. You know, Lunchbox Joe, it's complete uh, the rat's anus, you know. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Pretty much. Uh, well put. Yeah. Yeah. Thanks, David. Appreciate it. I know. I know. Let's go to Rick in Idaho. Hey, Rick, you're on the blaze. Hey, guys. Hey. Uh, I was just not noticing on that Zoom call, you were doing that Zoom call, and that one teacher down in the corner, she was saying how if you are melanin deficient, that uh, whatever, you know, whatever crap it was, mm-hmm. yeah, you can't lighter help than it. me. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I know you can't help it, but she's saying that you can, uh, you have to make uh, advances toward being Thanks, different right. and accepting, right? Yeah. And you have to evolve or dissolve. I mean, it's that simple. I don't know why you're questioning it. <laughs> I don't either. I don't either. And who are you? If you're white, who are you to question anything? Mm. Anybody says you're a racist, hateful bigot, and you got no place in society. I mean, I you're, you. you're lucky we even let you on the Zoom yeah. call to begin with. Why the hell are we even hearing from you? You, should, you know what? You should, all you white people, you should all have your mouths surgically sewn <laughs> shut because we don't want to hear from you anymore. Yikes. All right? Yeah. All right? you unscented candles yeah. out there. If you feel like you need nourishment, which I don't think you do, yeah. uh, get it intravenously. <laughs> Thank you. Okay? Pasty but, parasites. Uh, I don't want to see your mouth move anymore. <laughs> wow. You just sit quietly in the back of the bus. You right hear that, there. you marshmallow minions? Yeah. yeah. Keep your yap shut, you <laughs> culture vultures. <laughs> there it is. You <laughs> vanilla gorillas. <laughs> Soup cracker. You string cheeses. (laughs) You. (laughs) You bunch of freaking Casper the Friendly Ghost. Thank you. Wait, that's not on the approved list. Oh, it's not? It's not approved. I think you meant to say. Was that right? Was it? Oh. 
Styrofoam cup, I think. You is what you st- want to go. That's a powerful insult. That is. You <laughs> styrofoam cup. Oh no! Don't don't hurt. No, me. expired no, cheese. No, no. Do that one. <laughs> expired cheese. Oh yeah, you don't oh, want to be expired cheese. You don't cheese. want that. No. Oh. Both of those are brutal. Mm-hmm. Wow. Oatmeal. <laughs> oatmeal. <laughs> oatmeal. That's just. Stupid. You know, we should pass each other in the hallway. What's up, oatmeal? What's up? Come not on. much, Casper. <laughs> oh wait, that's oh, wait, not that's on the approved that. list. Sorry. Yeah, yeah, come it on. Sorry, be, though. It should. Right here. It's a good Stick one. Stick to the list. Triple eight nine hundred thirty three ninety three. More Pat Gray Unleashed coming up. By the way, <laughs> apparently <laughs> Team Buck is moving to a new location. I know, new locations. <laughs> hmm. Congratulations. 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 Still working for Premier Radio Networks. He and Clay Travis are taking over for uh, Rush Limbaugh. Doing the noon to three Eastern mm-hmm. on Premier Radio Networks. June Congratulations. 21st. June 21st. That begins. Okay. So, awesome. Listen for him then. Where would they be based out of? Do we know? I don't know. I Clay's don't in know. Nashville. Is Buck in New York still? Yes, he is. Hmm. So Buck's the Maybe last meet man in the middle, in New York. like West Virginia. Huntington, yeah. West Virginia. <laughs> yeah. That's, home that's base for the EIB Network. Yeah. Uh-huh. Uh, All right. Uh, This is just amazing. In a series of Twitter posts uh, uh, this week, SV. Tay, who I've never heard of until now, um, (laughs) claimed that the September 11th, 2001 terrorist attacks against the United States, carried out, of course, by Islamic terrorists, uh, killed almost 3,000 Americans, injured 25,000 more. Brought down the World Trade Center towers, uh, shut down the stock market for a week, set off a decades-long war on terror or two in the Middle East. But all We're of still that still ongoing, by the way. <clears throat> all of that was nothing in comparison to what happened on January sixth mm. at the Capitol building. That can't be real. Right? I it just can't be. It can't I, be real. He apparently, honestly, believes this. I, it is so absurd right now. Where uh, It's hard to believe this is even reality. Mm-hmm. Seriously, you're just waiting for somebody to pinch you and wake you up from this incredible nightmare where absolutely nothing makes sense anymore. Uh, Byron York said on Tuesday he launched into an argument <clears throat> that eventually resulted in him sh- shockingly claiming that the Capitol uh, was not the Capitol riot was 1,000% worse than 9-11. Yeah, that's what SV Date said. 1,000% worse. The Huffington Post. What? 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 Some broken windows. Three people died from natural causes like heart attacks. A police officer died of two strokes that he had later. And a woman who was part of the mob that went into the building was shot and killed. A Trump supporter. No one who was not a Trump supporter was killed right. during that event. I mean, the facts are... You had broken windows and messed up Capitol building. Yeah, but there was a guy that uh, took a, a picture mm-hmm. uh, with a podium. That's right. I forgot. I almost forgot about the Nancy See, Pelosi podium. he's always doing this. He's wow. always doing this. Well, that puts it right into perspective. <laughs> I, I mean, here Somebody the f- did hold the podium for this, a minute. This yeah. insurrection, <laughs> this coup attempt. Uh, the facts are off. that if if they are as serious as they're trying to make it seem, then why have you the the the, the most severe charges so far have been assault? Mm-hmm. Okay, as you said, the only person who's been killed was an American citizen by a government agent, mm-hmm. and nobody, <clears throat> nobody that was taking part in this coup attempt was carrying a weapon. Right. Yeah. These right. are all facts. Yeah. But they I, are I mean, we, still have people, we still have people being uh, held in jail. Yeah. Mm-hmm. We're held in jail. Yeah. Right. Uh, how about no? They are <laughs> using, they are trying to just it's squeeze everything. Mind-numbing. I don't want to, you know, minimize it. Right. It it, it was abhorrent. Okay. It, it was done by a bunch of people who should have known better, following a bunch of other people who are on the left, and they shouldn't have followed them. Uh, but... Regardless of who was following whom, they should not have entered the Capitol illegally like that. They shouldn't have been breaking windows. There should not have been a riot. Okay? On the other hand, to maximize this thing and make it into the Mount Everest of problems is so disingenuous and such a silly, ridiculous, absurd lie. What? Oh, you know what I forgot, too? I forgot about the uh, <clears throat> 24... 
was it how many how many bombs were laid around the Capitol? Uh, two. That no, it surrounded. Was like, yeah, surrounded the surrounded Capitol. Surrounded the and not the Capitol, but the building a building near the Capitol. They surrounded that building with two <laughs> explosive devices that did not go off. And, and those were Horrific. put in front of what the RNC and the DNC offices. Uh, I yes. don't remember I where, they were. Remember yeah. where yeah. they were. Yeah, that's yeah. where they were put. Yeah, so they were put at the entrances <sighs> of those two buildings. So S. V. Date, <laughs> whoever he is, said this attempt to whitewash what happened that day is shameful. Who's attempting to do that? The only ones even talking about it still are the Democrats who are calling it the worst thing that's yeah. ever happened. A thousand times worse than nine eleven. Come on now. <laughs> is that whitewashing it? He also said January sixth was an attempt to end our democracy. A, no, it wasn't because, first of all, we don't have a democracy to end. So the whole thing is kind of based on a false premise. <laughs> yeah. Wait, wait, hold okay, on. Yeah. While you guys have been talking just now, CNN flashed a graphic up there, and it said, letting the terrorists win, GOP versus the 1-6 commission. I can't. Because they're trying to stop this thing. The 1-6 The 1-6. Letting the terrorists win. Secondly, or B, wherever I was, <laughs> they were not trying to end our republic either. They weren't trying to end anything, except they were trying to uh, stop the vote so that it could be recounted or whatever they yeah. wanted to happen with the vote. And I, I just, this is the most asinine thing I think I've ever seen. And, and it sounds like you're minimizing it when you say that. But they're maximizing it to the point where I'm sorry, you got to take the other side of this because it's to. just ludicrous. It, wasn't this what uh, the guy down the hall that comes on after you? What's his Glenn? Glenn Beck guy. Beak. Oh, Beck. Beak. Yeah, right. Beck. I right. can't you remember. Got it. Mm -hmm. One or the other. Uh, he said forever. You can't give them a, an excuse. You can't mm -hmm. give them a, 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 a way to crack down on you because mm -hmm. they will. They will take it. Mm -hmm. And here we are. Yep. You know, and I mean, the only phrase that keeps coming to mind with the way they're treating this is mountain out of a molehill. And that minimizes it because it wasn't a, a molehill. But neither is it this a thousand times worse than it. It doesn't come close to a 9-11 type event. It doesn't. No. I mean, one person was killed. One person. And, and they were on the other side of what everybody's talking about. And we didn't have commissions the other times that the Capitol has been attacked. No, we didn't. Uh, those attacks were actually, I believe, uh, more of a mountain than and, this particular and, insurrection. Nor did we have any commissions done all summer last year where there was rioting and looting and killing <laughs> going on every single night. Where? They were destroying and burning American cities everywhere. Hell, Washington, D.C. was one of them. All right. With fires all around the city and stuff. Oh, man. And they, they couldn't care less about that. No. They nope. could not care less about nope. that. Where's your commission on that? That was for that Where's was Where's your for BLM justice. commission? Where's your justice. Antifa commission? Where's he's, that? He's giving you the answer, and you're yeah. just ignoring him. I one am ignoring was for him. justice. Right. That was for okay. justice, my friend. Okay. <laughs> I can't. I, I can't. It's How many fun, times right? a day do we say that? I can't. I it's just plain can't. Fun. It's just insane. Let me tell you about real estate agents I trust. <clears throat> because if you're trying to sell your home right now, it's really hard. Uh, and maybe you're trying to buy one. And maybe you're doing both because you're relocating. Uh, that's a really hard situation. <clears throat> and you need good realtors at both ends of the sale. So that's where real estate agents I trust uh, .com comes in because these are really good realtors. These are realtors who are the best at what they do in their area, who know the area, who are out with clients every single day, taking them around to homes. They know what the clients are looking for in a home so they can advise you on whether or not you should repaint your whole house uh, or replace countertops or remodel a bathroom or a kitchen or whatever it may be. And will you get your money out of that? They'll help you sell your home uh, quickly and for the most amount of money, rather than the exact opposite of that, like uh, happened to Glenn, which is why he established his company in the first place. So go to realestateagentsitrust.com. The name really says it all. Realestateagentsitrust.com. You know, we saw um, 
President Biden mm. uh, give his uh, little talk yesterday and tell us about uh, Inspirational, how right? important uh, Alzheimer's uh, study and doctrine is going to well, be. Well, yeah, if we don't do something, all 919,000 hospital beds in this country in, ten, in 15 years are going to be occupied by Alzheimer's patients. And we also, All of them. We saw Every him. single one. Perhaps you don't understand the severe nature of what I'm yeah, saying to you right yeah, now. I do. Okay. I okay, I'm not joking. <laughs> I'm not joking. Hmm. We, we saw him struggle with some of the numbers uh, yeah. through his speech yesterday. But he was also out and about on the street. And, of course, if he's given such a talk, how important the press is going to want to talk to him and ask him questions out on the street. Oh, yeah, sure. Uh, you mm-hmm. know, and this is the important stuff they're asking him. Mr. President, what did you Chocolate, chocolate chip. Oh, yeah. Oh, oh, oh wow. wow. So. Wow. I mean, <laughs> Hold on a second. Hold on. That dude right there. Wants to spend six trillion dollars, and the question is, what did you order? Chocolate, chocolate chip. Oh, is that North Korea? The hell's happening? Chocolate, chocolate chip. Oh. oh. <laughs> I guess there were other questions. I don't know. It's just the whole thing is just embarrassing. What's enchanted you the most about this ice cream stand? Hmm? <laughs> what has delighted you the most? What has enchanted you the most? Sweet Lord. I'm surprised he didn't What's say Jill's going to be mad at me, but I got chocolate chocolate chip. Uh-huh. <laughs> okay, now let's, uh, let's quietly <laughs> listen to the response because okay. it's amazing. Listen to this. Mr. President, what did you order? Chocolate chocolate chip. Oh, oh yeah. yeah. Chocolate chip. <laughs> there is literally a gasp from the crowd. Oh. <laughs> So amazing about that. <laughs> I can't. I mean, again, I, I, can. I can't. I can't. I just can't. I can't. The good news is Are, that we found out today it's, it's been 128 days yeah. that he's been in office. So, yeah. I mean, that's great. Maybe they're surprised <laughs> that he could remember what he just ordered. Maybe that's what it was. <laughs> oh! 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 Nice! Wait, wait. <laughs> we just, that could be it. We put you to the test, and you passed. <laughs> you passed. Nice job, With Mr. President. Flying yes. colors. Flying colors. We are so <laughs> doomed. Though, that was the, 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 the watchdogs, you know, the press. Mm-hmm. They're on they're, it. They're looking they're out for it. us. They are. We'll make sure he's cognizant. Yeah, it's great. Uh, all right, 888 I love this photo of the uh, museum, the, the Dinosaur Museum entrance in boston Mm. at the uh looks like the charles planetarium uh there's a gigantic tyrannosaurus rex outside of it not cool and uh they put a mask on the uh, dinosaur i wonder what 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 past that yeah exactly it's like you're just now doing that (laughs) did they uh i mean what did they spend on that mask i wonder manufacturing a mask large enough that you could put it around a tyrannosaurus (laughs) and it doesn't even work no we know this. That's a. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, that just shows you. They realize it's not a real dinosaur, right? Uh, maybe, maybe, hell, who knows, man? We I don't, don't know. even know what a dude and a chick is anymore. So maybe they think he's real and they're trying to protect him. Can I give you the results of a new study, by the way, from the University of Louisville? Uh, found that um, mask wearing. <laughs> Didn't slow COVID nineteen. <laughs> what? It did not. So, uh, it this, did not slow the spread. Was this study done before they put a mask on the dinosaur? <laughs> See, I mean that's I a good know. question. I don't know. See, they may not have known that one. Yeah. Hmm. The study notes that eighty percent of U.S. states mandated masks during COVID nineteen, and while mandates induced greater mask compliance, they <laughs> they did not predict lower growth rates when community spread was. Low or high. Huh. Among other things, huh. the study conducted using data from the CDC Uh-oh. reported that mask mandates uh, and use are not associated with lower spread among U.S. states. Incredible. Huh. huh. What have we been saying the whole time? Have we been saying something like that the whole time? Uh, <laughs> like masks don't work. They don't work. Yeah, but what's what's your what's your flavor of ice cream you got there? What'd you order, sir? Uh, let's listen again, because okay. uh, that's it's, the important it's stuff. Important we need to be stuff. Yeah. President, what you order? Chocolate, chocolate chip. Oh, oh, oh yeah! Oh, 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 o
Oh. He's one of us. Oh. That guy, he's one of us. He eats ice cream. <laughs> Isn't that wonderful? Oh. Why is that such a big deal? I, <laughs> I mean... <laughs> This senile old coot likes ice cream. Isn't that wonderful? Isn't it wonderful? It's so great. Uh, that means he can still govern. It does. I'm sure that's what it means. Uh, <laughs> that's great. Oh, you got to love him. You do. Because it's just Joe being Joe eating a chocolate, chocolate chip ice cream cone. That's wonderful. That's, That's marvelous. That's just marvelous. That it really is. is. It's <laughs> so good to know our democracy is safe. Doing that good. Safe. It's yes, safe. safe. It's yes. in good hands. Yes. Well. Yeah. All right. Uh, <sighs> I love this study. Case growth was independent of mandates at low and high rates of community spread, and mask use did not predict case growth during the summer or fall winter waves. <laughs> huh. Huh. What? Just the wait. It, 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 what, what were the waves again? Uh, summer, summer and okay. fall, the, winter. Fall, winter. <clears throat> yeah. Okay. Wait. And it didn't predict anything. It, so, in other words, when they mandated the mask wearing, it didn't have any effect. And there wasn't even a spring so, wave to no. mention. So. Right. Mm -hmm. so that's where we are. Our findings do not support the hypothesis that SARS-CoV-2 transmission rates decrease with greater public mask use. What? And, and and Jeffy, you're right. We are so past this because yeah. what was at our peak, we were at like 50,000 deaths a day in the United States attributed to COVID. And yeah. we're now nationwide, <clears throat> I think below 400 at this point. I don't, I don't think it's a thousand. I mean, it's not even. Yeah, I mean, no, it's, no, no, it's, it's either 400 and something or 300 and something. The death rate? Yeah. Per, per day. day in the United States nationwide. Wow, that's that's amazing. I know. I mean, you don't want anybody to die. Correct. But it was what four thousand a day, I think, uh, for for a it time. It was a lot. Yeah. <sighs> Let's see. The last researcher stated that masks may promote social cohesion. Okay, as rallying symbols. Again. Yeah. As, which, what, Virtue signaling. What Hello. they said in the beginning. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we're just trying to show mm -hmm. people that it's a symbol. Because you don't want to be the one yelled at at the store. But risk compensation can also occur. Hmm. Huh. huh. Mm. Prolonged use of a mask promotes facial uh, achinalization sure. and inadvertently encourages encourages dehydration. So it in, so you get a higher alkaline content on your face, and it encourages uh, dehydration, which in turn can. Mm. Enhance barrier breakdown and bacterial infection risk. Right. Oh, okay. What they're saying there is, okay, it's unhealthy <laughs> to wear the mask. Huh. But don't forget that store uh, had some good advice for Nancy Pelosi. You can go ahead and Man. keep yours on, Nancy. Yeah. Uh, so we were down uh, at 417 COVID deaths nationwide um, earlier this week. The seven-day average is actually 684. So still. There you go. Yep. Yes. It's going the right way. Sure is. It's going the right way. I just read I read a headline. I didn't bother to look at the, the story, but uh, <laughs> it said that the, the fear of COVID-19 is starting to fade, which I well, think is yeah. true. And I've gone into many places now in the last week where they're just not wearing masks. It doesn't say anything on the door. It doesn't say don't wear it. it. doesn't say wear it. So I don't. And you go in there, and most people are not wearing the mask. Have well, you noticed I mean, that too? I noticed that people are not wearing the mask if they've been vaccinated. Now, if you haven't been vaccinated, <laughs> you should you should still be well, wearing your mask. I actually have correct? not asked a single person who wasn't wearing a mask. They, hey, have you been vaccinated? Also, you don't care about your own life. No, I don't. You're sure wow. you've been vaccinated, right? You're, not you, wearing you've a been mask. Vaccinated. <laughs> don't forget, though, the federal government saying you must wear a mask uh, to travel mm. by air oh, through yeah. September 13th and, gonna... and to treat people mm. that are not wearing their masks properly as if they yeah. were walking through security with a, with firearm. a firearm. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And there, that that uh, that travel being vaccinated, you won't be able to travel. Uh, you won't be able to fly. Correct. And or ride on a bus. That's what's going to happen by on September 13th. They're going to say, "Okay, we'll lose the mask mandate. Prove yep. you've been vaccinated." Yeah, Listen to, to this vaccinated. poor woman who wrote to Dear Prudence. Uh, Dear Prudence, I've been married to a great guy for five and a half years. Have you? He's handsome, <laughs> sexy, 
funny and kind. Oh, wow. Oh. It's true that he's always been a little prissy about illnesses, Whoa. but I never thought it was a real problem. Yeah, this is the wife. <clears throat> However, yeah, during know. the pandemic, his terror about getting sick has reached new levels. Oh, no. uh, for the last year, he's refused to take off his mask, even when we're at home, just the two of us. This is true <laughs> even now that he's fully vaccinated no. for the virus. He wears it to sleep to do most of his bathroom activities, and yes, even during lovemaking. Uh-oh. Okay, it's time for divorce from this loser. This guy. <laughs> I'm not sure that's the appropriate music, because oh, oh, this guy uh, 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 The mask needs... doesn't turn you on? No. But I mean, they told us to wear, they did tell you originally, right? A lot of the, uh, a lot <clears throat> of the rules, the sexual rules that these cities and uh, counties were coming up with were telling you to wear a mask uh, even, I mean, that's while just you were, even while you were the answer is no. participating. No. No. To eat, he pulls it up to expose his mouth, then he quickly pulls it back okay, down. Okay, you're married to a psycho. Between bites. Yeah, there's, a, there's, there's more of an issue Seriously. here. Seriously, yeah, he's, he that. needs some mental help here. While he does not insist that I do the same, I can tell it bothers him that I don't, especially because I have now started going maskless outside per the CDC oh, guidelines. No. Oh, whoa, whoa. And plan on restaurant dining inside soon for a girl's night out. Uh-oh. See? Oh, no. When I have tried to present him with the science, he says scientists don't fully understand the virus, virus yet. Or, <laughs> I know it probably isn't necessary, but wearing it doesn't bother me. So if there's a small chance that it can protect us, I'd rather be on the safe side. What's the harm? I don't know that you're a sissy, that you're a freak. <laughs> Man, you are a freak. <laughs> the about, about the, the biggest wuss I've ever seen or heard about? You're wearing it to bed and sleeping with it? Come on now. It's a pacifier oh, for people. You, have you point. all of a sudden stopped breathing while you're sleeping, Pat? I don't think so. I do that about uh, a thousand times a night, probably. <laughs> <laughs> According to my ap- really? sleep apnea yeah. test. Yeah, I think it's about oh. a thousand times a yeah. night. Like, yeah. Do you have an app on your phone or what do you, what do you got? No, I've had no, a the uh, sleep apnea test. Yeah, yeah. I've had the oh, test okay. before. Yeah. Uh, but he, uh, I mean, it, would it surprise you if you suffocated during the night no, with this not. thing on? No, I, come not. on. <laughs> and I know who the prime suspect will be. It'll be this lady. Yeah. <laughs> writing kidding. to Slate. I disagree that there's no harm. I want to see my beautiful husband's face again. I want to kiss him on the lips romantically like we used to. And oh, not yeah. through a piece of fabric. Oh, baby. I, guess, oh, I think yeah. the issue is he's just not that into you anymore. He that does, could be. Here's here's a lovely part, too. He does not change his mask very often. It's often smelly and soil. Oh, 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 nasty. Nasty. <laughs> and then, it's, and then, yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Uh, at least maybe you maybe give him a new mask for a little business. My mother. <laughs> business mask? Yeah. I like this. My mother, who is very conservative, thinks that I should move out. Uh-huh. <laughs> yeah. So do so we. Do I. <laughs> so do yeah. we all. Yeah. Yeah. Dear prudence. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think I'm ready for that step yet. What I want is my husband back. How can I get through to him maskless yeah, at all? Not coming back. back. They're, They're not, coming, not back, coming back, man. Back. Not They're happening. not. Uh, dear maskless and alone, I suspect your mother and I would agree on almost <laughs> nothing COVID related except the fact that your husband's behavior is alarming. Uh-huh. <laughs> yeah. What's the harm is such an insidious phrase. It's not a question. It's a statement of leave me alone. But there yeah. is lots of harm in leaving him alone. Harm to his mental health, to yours, and to your relationship. Mm. How about that? Uh, decent answer there. Yes. Uh, so, leave your mask at home. Yeah. Or get a um, business mask. Or get, get, a, business get a special mask. business mask. <laughs> <laughs> and we'll uh, see you again on, on Monday. Have a good weekend. Good morning, Pat Gray, only on the Blaze Radio Network.